Is web development saturated for junior developers? You are being fear-mongered and scammed by online fake gurus who make content for beginners just like you, trying to make you feel sorry for yourself. These content creators make videos like that just so they can get views and make money promoting their affiliates. They are abusing your most important currencies, time, focus and peace of mind. It's easy to scare beginners. A scared mind is easily influenced. And with this video, I will change that. You need to adopt a long-term growth mindset, not chasing short-term gains. I've learned from people from different fields, including investors and athletes, and their overarching message, real skill and financial success don't come from cutting corners. In this video, I want to inject into your brain the eight hard truths as well as the tried and tested mindsets that will shield you from the fear-mongering news that are out there and show you that web development is not at all saturated. First call truth. There was never space for beginners. Let's look at what everyone does and do the exact opposite. Literally everyone follows the same courses, builds the same average projects that used to be cool in 2015 and hope to get a job in 2023 and 2024. The bar was raised, there is a way around that. Everyone is chasing, stacking up technologies on their resume without really knowing how to use those technologies. This is like wanting to become a pastry chef and focusing on the oven, the fork and the bowl. You need to focus on making good pastries. As a software developer, you solve problems and build products. After you learn your basic skills, HTML, CSS and JavaScript, your full focus should be on building products. There is a guy I follow on Twitter, his username is Levels.io and he makes millions of dollars using PHP and jQuery. Technologies you learn are important, don't get me wrong, but what's most important is what you do with them. Once you feel comfortable with your basic tech, and start building stuff, you will encounter something called a bottleneck. That is the moment when you add a new technology. You then build more stuff, then at some point you'll encounter a new bottleneck and then you add another technology. And then this process repeats over and over again. This is how you grow as a productive software developer. Otherwise, you will end up being just a code monkey. That's where the market is saturated for beginners. Second hard truth. Focus on what can be changed. There are so many people that focus on how things should be instead of how things are. The job market evolves, the tech changes, the bar and the goalpost are always moving. Especially right now, during a recession, everyone needs to work harder. But if you make it now, when the times are hard, you will probably make it when everything is gonna be easy. Markets go up and down. There's never a perfect time. I highly recommend you a book called Relentless by Tim Grover. Tim Grover was a coach of big NBA players and he talks about how these players think and perform and it's an amazing resource for any aspiring developer. I know you might want to start a business at some point and if you start developing these mindsets early right now, you will have a higher chance of success trying any other business venture in the future. Third cold truth. Every opportunity is hard. Don't fall for the easy. There are so many opportunities online, high ticket sales, drop shipping, Amazon FBA, selling courses, becoming an influencer. Let me lay it down for you. None of those are easy. All those paths are hard, coding, marketing, sales, drop shipping, but you need to choose what are you going to suffer for, for the next six months to a year or the next five to 10 years. Picture this, you work relentlessly, you develop your skills. At some point you get a job, you learn how to build products professionally, then you have an idea, you found the problem. Now you have the skills to build a product to solve that problem. You then learn some marketing or partner with someone to help you market your product. And then you start a profitable SaaS. It's a lot of work, but this is an opportunity you can take because you have the skills. Being in the tech industry is gonna make you see problems and problems are opportunities. If you work in a mundane environment, in a boring job, well, homie, you will not find problems. You will not have opportunities. Fourth hard truth. Today, 
is the easiest time to get a developer job. You might say, hold on, Christian. You just said that right now it's the worst time to get a developer job because of the macroeconomics and whatnot. And yes, you're right. The goalpost keeps moving. When I got hired in 2017, knowing some basic React and a tiny bit of Redux was enough to get a job in tech as a front-end developer. In 2020, you had to know TypeScript, Next, and Tailwind, and the list will grow more and more. It's very unlikely that in three years from now, a developer will have to know less or the same amount of tech than now. This is called market sophistication. What was amazing two, three years ago, now it's expected. I worry that most people are stuck playing an outdated game, hoping that they will get results in 2024 and beyond. When you start building complex projects, naturally, you will start adopting the relevant in-demand tech, but you have to work. Fifth hard truth. Simple portfolio projects don't cut it. If you build the same apps as everyone else and your portfolio is bland like white rice, you'll have a hard time getting any traction. Most portfolio projects, to-do apps, calculators, e-commerce apps, weather apps are learning or toy projects. If you want to stand out as a developer, you need to solve a real world problem. But Christian, what is a real world problem? Now you are thinking. There are five main niches that people have problems with and they are willing to spend money to have them solved. Making money, saving time, improving relationships, improving their health and hobbies. Now, in my opinion, if you can focus on making someone money, saving their time or improving their health and fitness, you struck gold. You can look into your own life and find the problem that you have in one of these areas and start thinking about how to solve it. Then research and see if others have the same problem as you and try to get their feedback and develop something called an MVP, which stands for Minimum Viable Product. And build it, get feedback from some people, fix and adjust your project. Then get more feedback and repeat this process. This is how you build a product that will either help you get a job and make you stand out as a developer or build the next million dollar SaaS. Six hard truth. There is no space for B and C players. There are two types of people, A players, the sharks, and the B and C players who do enough just to get by. The A player works when they are sick or tired. The B and C players are working hard to look like they are working. There are people out there who love working and they dread taking a day off because they love work so much. Here are some key differences between A players and B players. And I'm gonna read from my list, okay? So the A player, takes responsibility. The B player blames everything and everyone. The A player works harder. The B player procrastinates. The A player finds solutions. The B player finds reasons why something won't work. The A player tries things and learns. The B player tries one thing and gives up. The A player finds a way to make it happen. The B player finds reasons to quit. The A player understands the competition is massive, but it's excited by it. And the B player is scared by the competition and is crippled by anxiety and paralyzed by fear. As you can see, the main difference is in the attitude in these two types of people. You can become an A player if you currently are a B player. The problem is that the comment section of most videos and most influencers are B players. So don't fall for the trap. Study books of entrepreneurs and athletes who went through hardships and see how they felt and what they did to overcome their problems. And you will see you are going through the exact same things as them. They were filled with doubt, stress and insecurities every single day, but they tapped into that and worked harder than their competition. A great book I can recommend is Shoe Dog by the founder of Nike. That guy went through so much pain to build Nike to be what it is today. The seventh hard truth. Web development and developers are and will be in demand. The entire planet works on the web and there are thousands of online businesses that are serving their customers. If you would understand the complexity of the systems and applications that are running this world, you would know how big of a demand there is for good developers. There's so much work and there are so many problems to be solved. And when a problem is solved, a new one arises and so on and so forth. This is because of something called competition. All businesses want to be competitive and they want to find an edge. The problem is that you were told that an average person can become successful. 
This is a conspiracy theory and untrue. You need to become a successful person. You in your current state cannot hold a six-figure job even if it's given to you tomorrow. Let that sink in for a moment. You are unprepared from a skill and mindset perspective to handle a high-paying job that is filled to the brim with responsibilities. You need to become that person and metaphorically kill your current self to strike it big. If you are learning code like most people without aim, guidance and roadmap, you will spend hundreds of hours burning through resources, videos, courses, just to end up in the same spot as you are right now. The bow that you are in matters more than how hard you roll. I made my coaching program public so you don't have this problem. So if you click on the second link in the description, you will have access to a few free courses that will get you started as a developer. The roadmap that I have been using and refining for the past four years. And you have all the recordings of me and my students going through that roadmap so you can have all the tools to not be stuck. If you follow the coaching calls, the roadmap and apply everything we discussed in this video so far with enough time, patience and resilience, you will be successful. I can guarantee you that. If you don't stop and keep improving, it's only a matter of time until you get paid as a developer. This journey will shape you as a new person. And once you achieve this goal, then you can start working on the next thing. This will lead to you having a more fulfilled life, buying the new car, saving and investing. And no, it's not gonna happen overnight, but I would rather have you working and improving yourself then wait around for things to happen or for things to get better. You have to make it happen. You have to do the work. So you can be part of our community and mentorship, but you need to apply because we choose only the best candidates. If you wanna be part of a team and community to learn code fast and with less headaches, then click the first link in the description. If you wanna learn and check the community before joining, Click the second link in the description. You can get all our roadmap. You can get our roadmap of projects, see our live calls where the students get support and they are getting unstuck. And you can see our interview prep calls, which I run every week. Again, there are a bunch of resources that will get you started with learning code so you can actually tackle these projects. Just click and sign up via the second link in the description. If you are an absolute beginner, the courses I have for free in my mentorship program will turbocharge your learning journey. Until next time, yours truly, Christian Sia.